Well, King, you really know how to show a girl a good time. It was just dinner and a movie. How was I to know that he'd get upset? Big Hugh's got a thing about guys dating his girl. There's not much we can do now, Joe. Well, Rita, how about one for the road? Did you hear that? Hear what? Sparky? You know him? Don't just stand there, guys. We gotta get out of here before Big U catches on. Too late. I'm one step ahead of you. Gentlemen, kill them! Hey, watch where you put those hands, Buster. Get them, and I want them dead. This time. That was close. I gotta hand it to you, King. You certainly know how to end the night with a bang. Shoot. I almost forgot. I have to pick up Faye Russell, the famous movie star, in less than eight hours. Let's go, Sparky. Will I ever see you again? Only if you're lucky. Wait here, Sparky. I'll go upstairs and get Miss Russell. Anderson, what are you doing here? And where's Miss Russell? You fool, King! Did you really think that I would let you fly Faye Russell? The most beautiful actress of our time? Into the Amazon jungle? Uh, um, well, yeah. I won the contract fair and square. <laughs> You're more gullible than I imagined. Quit kidding, Anderson. I gotta fly her out before the storm hits. I got my plane all gassed up and ready to go. Not this time, King. I will have the money and the girl. But, but she's my favorite actress. Besides, if I don't get the money, I could lose my plane. That's less competition for Flying Dutchman Airlines. I will fly Vey to the Amazon for her photo shoot, and I will get all the glory. Soon, I will rule the skies! Hey, you can't do that. I just did. Now try and get out of this one, King. See you later! I've got a plane to catch! <laughs> it's locked. <sighs> My one chance to meet the most beautiful actress in all the world has just been shot down in flames. And here I am trapped in a cheap theater hotel in downtown Rio. Guess I should try and find a way out of here. Thank you.
that should do the trick. I can't move it. Hey, that dame is a guy. Sure had me fooled. I've always had a thing for brunettes. And blondes. Redheads, too. I've always had a thing for brunettes. And blondes. Redheads, too. Well, what do you know? I just found a towel. Hey, you. Who? Me? Yeah, you. You are supposed to be upstairs. Ain't he supposed to be upstairs? I don't know how you got out of your room, King. But this time I'm gonna make it difficult for you to leave the hotel. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? Take my clothes from me? Don't worry, King. We'll take good care of your clothes. Hey, guys, don't leave me here. Me and my... Big mouth. Hello, I'm Mike Laris, the bellboy. How may I help you? About that key on your desk? Yeah, what about it? I need to borrow it for a while. Sorry, Val, but that key belongs to Miss Lola. Unless you're a friend of hers, I can't let you have it. About that key again. What do you want now? I'm Lola's friend. She asked me to get it for her. Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? 
feel free to take the key anytime. Thanks. It fits! Uh, hello, Lola. Well, 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 if it isn't Joseph King. Lola, I need your help. Yeah? So what else is new? This is serious. Can you help me? That depends. What do you want? Anderson's goons have me trapped here. And I suppose you want me to help you escape? Well, yeah. Why should I help you, Joe? It took me a long time to forget what you did to me. Look, I'm sorry for what I did in the past. So you should be. Get me a towel and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Lola. You're the best. And this will make a worthy addition to my tower collection. Enjoy your stay at Hotel Copacabana. This will make a worthy addition to my tower collection. That doesn't seem to work. Here's your towel, Lola. Thanks. You want to get out of this dump? Well, I've got a plan. What sort of plan? Let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. I found it. Found what? You can use this dress as a disguise here thanks you know Lola I won't forget this yeah right well you better get out of here I've got a show in 10 minutes and I ain't dressed yet okay let's get out of here You called for me, Dr. Einstein? Yes. I want you to witness the testing of my dino ray. With it, I can turn humans into dinosaur people. Watch as I demonstrate. <laughs> Now to activate the machine. Amazing! She transformed into a monster before my very eyes. You've seen nothing yet. Observe as I activate the aggression enhancer. She will be a quivering, snarling mass of dinosaur terror. She doesn't look very menacing. <laughs> That's just a, a minor technical problem. I'll soon have it fixed. Unfortunately, she was my last specimen. I need more Amazon women. Hey, I can create a dinosaur army to take over the world. <laughs> 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 
Hurry, Sparky, we've got to get to the airport. Hey, that was Lola. That was King. Let's get him! Thanks for pulling my clothes out of the trash, Sparky. Uh oh. Rico and Eddie are hot up. Wait a minute. There's something under here. Time for an oil change. Oil me back. Okay, Sparky, let's get to the airport. Well, uh, Ms. Russell, everything seems to be in order. You may board the plane. Finally! I've been waiting here for ages. My time is money, you got that? Yes. Whatever you say, let's uh, go now, shall we? Hold it right there, Anderson. Huh? Who are you? He's uh, nobody, Faye. Now just get on the plane. I'm Joe King, owner and pilot of this plane. I thought you said it was yours. Don't listen to him, Faye. You couldn't pilot your way out of a paper bag. You got some nerve, Anderson. And a bigger chin. Now get out of my sight while you still can. You may have a big chin, but you got no backbone. You better quit while you're ahead, King, or I'll get nasty. It's time to say goodbye, Anderson. Why do you hit him? He had it coming to him, Miss Russell. Nobody takes customers away from the Amazon Queen. Hmm, I thought he was kind of cute. Joe! Let me guess. This guy is going to say he's the owner of the plane, right? No, Miss Russell. This is my pal Sparky, the Queen's mechanic. We've got to get a move on. There's a big storm brewing. Well, I think it's time we got this show on the road. not my fault. Yeah, right. We were hit by lightning. What could I do? I don't want to hear excuses. Just get us out of this mess, okay? Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe? I just found one of your comic book coupons. Is it the Commander Rocket Authentic Secret Pocket Rocket Decoder Ring coupon? That's the one. Unfortunately, it's all soggy. Gosh darn it. That page was from my new Commander Rocket comic, which means the rest of the comic must have been damaged in the crash. Sorry, pal. You might as well keep it, Joe. I'll try and get a new one later. One that's in mint condition. How are things, Sparky? It could be better, Joe. The plane is pretty badly damaged. What supplies do we have? Just about everything's been water damaged, including my new Commander Rocket comic. I got some beef jerky if you're feeling hungry. I'm starved. I'd love some beef jerky. 
Here you go, Joe. Don't eat it all at once, or you could end up like me. What, a mechanic? No, just slightly on the larger size. Though I have lost some weight lately. But that's probably because we haven't had a paying customer for months. Hang in there. I'll try, Joe. I just found a knife and a lighter. That doesn't seem to work. Here you go, fishies. It's beyond repair. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to cut that. That should do the trick. Hey guys, hop on board. I'm gonna row this lily pad to the bank. Is this safe? Maybe you'd rather stay in the plane? I think I'll risk the lily pad. Okay, guys. I want you to stay here while I go get some help. I'm going to try and find a telephone and call Al's Air Rescue. While you're at it, give your lawyer a call, too. You're going to need him when we get out of this mess. Ha ha ha. I think you should stick to drama, Faye. Comedy isn't you. Okay, guys. I won't be too long. Excuse me, Joe. Yes, Sparky? I was wondering if you could do me a favor. What sort of favor? Well, if you find the shop, could you see if they have any Commander Rocket comics? Comics? My copy of Commander Rocket vs. the Mob got water damaged in the crash. I'd really appreciate it if you could find me a new one. Okay, Sparky, I'll have a look. But I can't guarantee anything. After all, we're in the Amazon jungle. Thanks, Joe. Quack. What a pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Quack. Oh, oh. Princess Azura is in trouble. Uh oh. Quack. Oh, oh. Quack. Hey, you can talk. Quack. Oh. Help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh oh. <whistles> oh, Quack. Who's Trader Bob? And who's Princess Azura? Quack. I'm being held captive. You must save me! Uh-oh! What on earth are you talking about? Who's holding who captive? Squawk! Uh-oh! Help me, Trader Bob! You're my only hope! Uh-oh! Squawk! Hey! Come back here! That's just great! I've only just arrived in the jungle, and already I get a cryptic message. Maybe this Trader Bob character can shed some light.
This vine looks strong enough to hold my weight. Phew, that sure is big. Um, hi, I'm Joe King. <coughs> Sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. <coughs> What's that? Two words. Is it a movie? <laughs> First word sounds like Ming. Unga Chup Warip The first word is King, isn't it? Hunger, hunger. <laughs> I've worked it out. It's King Kong. <laughs> hunger, hunger. I can't believe I just played charades with an ape. Hunger, hunger. <sighs> Say, uh, you're a gorilla, ain't ya? Uh huh. Uh, unga, unga, uh, uh, gorilla. On second thoughts, you look more like a chimp. <laughs> what on earth are we talking about? Shanga Uni Unga Gorilla I thought gorillas came from Africa. Chunga Unga Say buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. This is South America. You shouldn't be here. Gee, you're right. I guess I'd better get going then. How freaky! A phantom primate. That creep has left us here. He makes me so mad. I feel better now. That was expensive perfume. So? I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. What are you gonna do now? I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. <laughs> 